Hi everybody, it's Amy. I'm going to talk about the supplies you need for our first painting, which is a minimalist painting. You're going to need your brushes, you'll need your palette knife, these are different colors. You'll need your small canvas. This is not the teeny tiny one. This is the small, small one. This is for something else, but you'll need the medium size one. Mine's a square, but yours is 5 by 7 You will need uh, your painter's tape. You'll need a pencil and your sketchbook. You'll need your paints uh, and then a water container. Make sure you don't fill it or you'll spill it. It's just a little bit. Uh, you'll need an apron or something to keep you clean. Um, I have some old towels that I use just for blotting my brush. You could use paper towels. It's up to you. And then you'll need this palette paper. So the palette paper is waxy on one side and it's kind of a flat on the other side. This is used for mixing up your paints. Okay, so open up your brushes, get them all set up, situate yourself, and then uh, watch the, we'll watch the next video about how to get started. Hi everybody, it's Amy. I'm going to talk about planning your minimalist painting. So you need to do the formative part in your OneNote, and then after you're done with that, you're ready to plan. So I have my sketchbook out, and I just drew three squares just for some ideas. And hopefully you already did this in your formative part, but if you haven't, then now's the time. So I'm thinking about simple forms, lines, shapes, patterns. So that's kind of what we're thinking about with minimalist art. You don't want to do something really extraordinary. You want to do something simple. So I have these three designs that I did with pencil. Uh, this one seems a little bit complicated um, because there's lots going on. I think I want to make it more simple. This one might be kind of hard to do round shapes because we're going to be applying the blue tape to your canvas. And that might be tough to get those circles uh, unless I draw them and then paint inside them, which is totally fine. But I think I'm going to go with this one. So this is the design I'm going to do. The next step is to think about colors. So I'm going to use colored pencils to kind of show you about color scheme. So these are the paint colors you have. But remember, you can mix these colors to get other colors. What we have here is we have the primary colors. We have blue, red, and yellow. Those are the three primary colors. So I've got those pencils here uh, situated. And then I've added brown, black, and white for your colors. Um, it's pretty easy to get brown, but what I find is people try to get brown and then they muddle it up and then they waste their other colors, so that's why I included brown. But I've got the three primaries and then black, white, and brown, so neutral colors. And I don't have gray, but black and white, neutral, monotone, and then uh, brown. If you want to mix your colors together, then hopefully you did this in elementary school, but if you didn't, uh, here's your quick review. So uh, blue and yellow together make, which one? Yeah, they make green. Uh, and then the red and yellow make orange, and then the red and blue make purple. So these are secondary colors. So you can mix those colors together to get these. Then we have tints and shades. So if you want to make pink, uh, then you're going to be starting with white and adding a little bit of red. Uh, then there's turquoise, gray, light blue. You can make any color, you know, magenta, whatever you want to make from, from these colors. Magenta is a tough one. Sometimes we use magenta that's actually pre-made with hues uh, and pigments. But anyway, so you can use whatever colors you want for this. If you want to do straight out of the tube, then that's perfectly fine with me. Sometimes that's easier. This is the canvas that you're going to be using. It's small. Mine's a square. Yours is 5 by 7 I think. So this is the canvas that you're going to be putting your design on, and then you're going to be painting on this. But it's good to think about your colors ahead of time. For mine, I'm just going to be painting straight out of the tube, and then I'll do another demonstration of mixing colors. So I'm going to take my three colors here that I'm going to use and I'm going to add color to this design. First thing I do though is I put my colors down so I can see how they're going to look. You can use crayon, colored pencil, marker, whatever works for you. So those are my three colors. I might actually add one more. I may actually add black. Okay? So now I'm going to add my colors to my design and that'll be the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.
Okay, so I have my color scheme for my planning done. I'm just going to use primary colors for painting um, and some black. So I've added a couple of things to it. It's not overly complicated and I may take out a few things. For example, I might remove this yellow and make it white. I've been thinking about that. So when I'm planning something and I'm like, oh, I didn't really want that, then I'm just going to like draw an arrow to it and, and put like remove white or make white, I mean. So I don't want this to be yellow. And sometimes I X through it so I don't mess it up. And then I was thinking about making this one white too. Instead of redrawing it and redoing it, just, just make uh, adjustments here. Also, if you want to, you can redraw a couple times and you can do a couple of different color schemes. It's not required. Okay, so now I'm ready to take my design and put it on my canvas. This is the hard part, okay? The rest is so easy. This is the hardest part. So first of all, clean up your space, okay? Put away your stuff. Get everything situated. Uh, you're going to be using the tape. And you know what? You might need scissors. So I didn't put that on the list, but you might need scissors. Uh, what you're going to do next is put your canvas next to your planning. Now remember, let's move my paints out of the way. Remember, if you are using a square canvas like mine, if one or two people who have a square canvas, then your planning should be square. But if you're using a rectangle, 5 by 7 then yours will be, um, your planning needs to be rectangle, okay? So make sure that that matches, because that mine matches this. All right, so here's my canvas. Here's my artwork. So what I want to do is, oh, I should have put a ruler on. All these things I'm real realizing, if you need a ruler, then get a ruler. So now I need to transfer this design onto here. Okay, so that's my next step. I'm going to use a light pencil. Uh, just a regular pencil will do. I have a 4B right here, but I'm going to switch that to a 2B or a normal pencil. Okay, so get yourself situated. Get your scissors, get your tape, canvas, planning, ruler, pencil, and transfer your design to here. And I'm going to work on that in the next video. Okay, this video is transferring my design over. So sometimes what I do is first I lightly sketch what I'm going to do. It doesn't have to be exactly what you planned, but I like to lightly sketch it first before I go in with the ruler because I want to make sure it's kind of proportioned with what I am doing. Okay, so then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to sketch out this black line that's coming across and this shape. Now I can kind of see where this is, and I can draw that in, and then I'm going to do my, my triangle shape all the way down. Okay, so then I have another one that goes kind of up here, and then I have this one, and I'm just looking, drawing, looking, drawing, like my eyes are going back and forth. You can't see me, but you can see my hands drawing. Okay, so those are the basic shapes. I'm going to do that first, then I'm going to go in with my ruler. Now what you could do is you could set it like right above it and work. All right, so I'm going to use my ruler. Actually, I'm going to start at the bottom here. If you want to, you can measure it out. It's up to you how, you know, if you want to like, okay, that's a half inch, that's a half inch, that's a half inch, and then you just line the dots up. You can do it that way if you'd like, whatever works for you. Uh, there's one thing that uh, you might like, and that is using stencils or shapes. If you have uh, shapes of things, for example, you could use this and you can trace a circle. I have these cool stencils that I use sometimes, uh, and then I lay them down and trace shapes. For example, like this box here, I could probably find one and I could trace it. You could use, you can even start with that if you want, make it easy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is continuing looking and drawing out my shapes and marking it all out. Do the big shapes first. After you do the big shapes, then you can go in and do the small details in here. Then you want to look to make sure that what you've planned and what you're actually going to create is similar. So 
So the next video will be more details about finishing the drawing and adding the tape. So this video is just so you can see what I'm making and how I'm doing it. Move your canvas around so you can see what you're doing. And this doesn't have to be perfect, so don't get into the mode of, oh, it's got to be exactly right, because you're going to be using tape anyway to help you. It's just nice to get this uh, situated with pencil so you can see it first. Don't use pen, because then you have to paint your canvas white again, and that's a pain. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on that. I have all my large shapes done. Now I'm going to look at my planning and decide which ones, uh, detail lines I'm going to add. So I'm going to add those next, and then I'll be ready for tape. Okay, I have my design done on my canvas and I am going to look at it really carefully to make sure that what I have here matches to the best that I can. I did make a mistake up here so you just need to grab an eraser and just erase that out. Any, any eraser should work just fine. If you were in here last semester in this Art and Design 1 you have a kneaded eraser you can use that or you can just use like any kind of eraser. Okay, so next step is the tape. So you're going to need your scissors and you're going to need your tape, and that will be the next video.